Apart from their given name, a dog's breed is undoubtedly what makes them unique. Everything from defining personality traits to their physical stature can be determined by a dog's specific breed. Although the origins of most breed names are speculative and a bit ambiguous, many dog breed names have fascinating and even heroic origins. In this video, we have listed 10 beloved dog breeds and the fascinating origins of their names. Number 10, Basset Hound, Little Low Dog. These stout, low-slung dogs are of French origin. They were used for hunting, especially badgers and rabbits, in France since medieval times. The name, which goes back to the early 1600s, was a direct reference to the dog's low-slung appearance. Bass means low in French, and the et suffix is simply a diminutive. So Basset basically means Little Low Dog. Number 9. Rottweiler – German Guard Dog Ancient Romans traveled throughout Europe with large, powerful cattle herding dogs. Centuries later, during the Middle Ages, butchers in the city of Rottweil, in what is now southern Germany, used descendants of those dogs as guard dogs, and they became known as Rottweiler Metzgerhunds, or Rottweil Butcher Dogs. That was later shortened to just Rottweiler. Number 8. Husky, Eskimo Dog. Husky is a general name for several types of Arctic-based sled dogs, although there are a few recognized breeds that use the name, including the Siberian Husky and Greenland Husky. The term Husky originated in the mid-1800s as a derivation of Husky Dog or Esky Dog, both as variations of Eskimo Dog. Eskimo people are more properly known today as Inuit. Number seven. Cairn Terrier, Earth Dog. These small terriers originate in the Scottish Highlands, where they were bred to hunt small pests such as rats and mice. A common feature in the Highlands, cairns, large man-made stone piles, which were used as landmarks and memorials. These tough little terriers were known for their ability to rouse prey from those cairns, hence their name. Terrier comes from the old French chien terrier, literally Earth Dog. Never heard of the Cairn Terrier? You've almost certainly seen one. A Cairn Terrier named Terry played a little doggy named Toto in 1939's The Wizard of Oz. Number six, Weimariner. Royalty from Weimar, Germany. The swift, long-legged Weimariner was bred for hunting by royalty and royalty only in the early 1800s. They were named for one of the early enthusiasts, Grand Duke Karl August of Weimar. Today, Weimar is a state in central Germany. Number five, Chow Chow, Puffy Lion Dog. The Chinese call this large, fuzzy, black-tongued dog Song Shi Quan, or Puffy Lion Dog. The name Chow Chow is a nonsense word, a pidgin English term that was once applied to all knickknacks and goods from China, probably because the Chinese names were too difficult for English-speaking people to pronounce. So when the dogs were first introduced to Great Britain in the 1880s, they were called Chow Chow too, and the name stuck. Number four, Schnauzer, named for its snout. The German Schnauzer is known for its distinctively long, squarish snout, and that's where they got their name. The German word for snout is schnauz. You'll want to follow these tips to becoming a dog's favorite human. Number three, Beagle. Howls on Hunts The name Beagle first entered the English language in the late 1400s. According to etymologists and the American Kennel Club, it came from the old French word Bigel or Biguel, meaning wide open throat or gaping throat, probably because of the Beagle's tendency to howl at its prey while on a hunt. Number two, Whippet, Great Speed. Whippets are descended from the English Greyhound and, in fact, look like small greyhounds. Their name goes back to the early 1600s and is believed to come from the verb whip, referring to the whippet's great speed. They're also known as snap dogs, after the quick manner in which their jaws snap up prey. Number one, Shih Tzu, Little Lion. 
Shih Tzu is derived from the Chinese name for these dogs, which translates to little lion. These tiny long-haired dogs weren't actually thought to resemble lions, but they did resemble lions as they were depicted in ancient Chinese painting and sculpture. And who doesn't like saying Shih Tzu? So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Now, a question for you. Which is your favorite dog breed? Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't until now, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future videos and stay tuned into our community. See you guys later.